Good happy Sunday afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Sunday edition of Politics with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, Biden shift on abortion funding reflects change in Democratic Party. Move sparked after criticism from primary opponents. The issue of abortion is front and center in the Democratic presidential primary after a flip-flop from candidate Joe Biden on federal funding for abortion. Eight presidential candidates to campaign in New Hampshire over the next week. Another wave of Democrat hopefuls scheduled visits. No fewer than Democrat eight presidential candidates are scheduled to campaign in New Hampshire in the coming days. U.S. Rep. Eric Ciswell will be in the state. He started yesterday, and he had two stops yesterday in New Hampshire. On Monday, Amy Cullen Bulger returns to New Hampshire. Also, U.S. Rep. Seth Moulton will return to New Hampshire on Monday. Also, U.S. Rep. Tim Ryan returns to New Hampshire on Tuesday. Washington J Governor Jay Inslee returns to New Hampshire on Wednesday. Entrepreneur Andrew Yang returns to New Hampshire on Thursday and Friday. Senator Kristen Gillibrand returns on June 14th and 15th. And Senator Bernarder Elizabeth Warren returns on June 14th. And those are the candidates that will be coming back in to New Hampshire. Outed from debate stage for now, presidential candidate Block plans return to New Hampshire. Montana governor criticized at DNC while planning first in the primary state swing. At least for the time being, Montana Governor Steve Bullock is out of the Democrat National Committee's first debate to take stage and take place over two nights on June 26th and the 27th. Seaswell TV ad promotes assault weapons ban buyback plan. California Congress man and presidential candidate says addressing gun violence in his t is his top priority. Democratic U.S. Rep. Eric Ciswell of California says he's the only presidential candidate to make gun control a top priority. His presidential campaign will begin airing on cable television ad on the issue in an early primary state, including New Hampshire. New Hampshire Senate passes two-year, $13 billion state budget. New Hampshire Senate approved a two-year, $13 billion state budget early Friday that Democrats praised as responsible and responsive to pressure problems and Republicans criticized as an unstable affront to taxpayers and small businesses. Democrat Senator Lewin and Del Duro, Chairman 
of the Senate Financial Committee ticked off a list of concerns both sides have agreed must be addressed, such as the opiate crisis, child protection services, and public safety. The proposal passed a 14 to 9 along party lines just after midnight following hours of debate with one Republican senator absent. It would spend about the same amount in the state general funds, $5.5 billion, as the budget passed by the House in April. But the differences in several key areas, while both significantly increased education funding in part of restoring so-called stabilization grants, the House budget would spend about $60 million more paid for by extending the tax on capital gains. The House budget would also um, have a version to eliminate the tax and send more unrestricted money back to towns and cities in and from the revenue sharing $40 million compared to the House $12.5 million. Senator Cindy Rosenwald of Democrat of New Nashua also weighed in on it. President Trump promotes state of confusion over space policy with tweet. President Donald Trump launched a state of confusion with a tweet about his administration's plan to send astronauts to Mars. And if you want to read more about that, we will have a link for you on the Riley King Network Facebook page. And that does it for this Sunday edition and this Sunday afternoon edition of Politics with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this Sunday week edition of Politics with Riley King. I'll see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics with Riley King. Have a great week ahead of you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Goodbye.